Hi everyone, I'm Charlene from Soso Dressmaking and today I have another fabric haul for you all from the rag shop. So as I have said before, um, I work for the rag shop as their social media manager and but I have bought all these fabrics myself with staff discount um, and yeah, so it's all fabrics that I've picked for myself um, but there's also a few fabrics here that I am making up samples for the shop in so I'm going to show you those as well because they're beautiful um, and share those plans with you so yeah um, I'm going to start off with some buttons and labels um, so I have two different um, shirting buttons here they're all from Pigeon Wishes so these ones are Wuthering and these ones are Savannah so these ones here are like a yellowy sort of mustard base and then they've got there's nearly like a zebra print um through this white and black bit here they're really lovely and then these ones here there's like a clear brown and then a creamy sort of color through them as well so these ones I had actually bought thinking I would use them for this dress but I changed my mind um so this is the zero waste gathered dress by Brigitte Helmerson and this fabric was in my last fabric haul for the rag shop it's the Woodstock viscose and it is still in stock so I will link it down below absolutely love this dress it is just I feel like this is nearly although it's it feels like a summer dress it's nearly like my first autumn make as well because the colors are just perfect for autumn so yeah I had got these ones for thinking they would be for this but then I had these wee yellow um like amber buttons in my stash from Ethel and Jones so I went for them instead but I will use these on something else like definitely because I just I love the color um then I also have two sets of the Paige Joanna um pick and mix buttons oh lovely big hair there and um, the reason I got two sets is that I actually just want the lilac buttons for my lilac linen suit so I need three for the blazer and one for the trousers so I thought well the pink and the blue I will use them at some point if not for me they will go on something for Emily because they're her colors so yeah um, I got two sets of those and then I also got these which I've already used some of these are the love potion and they are beautiful there's like a nice sort of pinky clear rose tone and then a wee bit of cream through them as well so they are absolutely gorgeous um i could i would be tempted to actually get some more of them because they're a really lovely color and they're quite neutral like they'd be lovely on a blazer or a jacket like a creamy sort of color or yeah they're really lovely any sort of beigey colors and then the last wee bit of um haberdashery sort of well we add on bits are the new limited edition kylie and the machine labels and they are a collaboration with claire ritchie who is an artist um uh, based in brisbane as well near kylie and the machine so yeah i'll put a wee picture in of all the different labels but they are gorgeous they're really big labels they're the kind of labels that you're going to want to put on the outside of your garment probably because they're just so gorgeous and really really nice positive messages on them and bright colors and yeah they're lovely so it says hold yourself be the space stand tall and rise so they're really really lovely and um, so yeah i picked up a set of them i think there's still a few of them left in stock i'll just double check that um The, yeah we do still have some in stock if you haven't managed to pick them up yet because they won't be restocked again they're just a limited one-off run so these fabrics here that i have um i'm just going to double check one of them so the rag shop has an offer on at the moment until running until the 15th which could be this sunday is it I think it's a Sunday. Um, what day are we even on? <laughs> um, so yeah, the I know most of them are. So it is on our beginner picks section. So it's <clears throat> all fabrics that are suitable for beginners and patterns that are suitable for beginners and things that you might need when you are just starting out. Yeah, so there's one that's not so i'll let you know but yes if you use the code let's get started 10 you can actually get 10 percent off all these fabrics here 
um, and there's loads of other beautiful fabrics in it. There's lots of cottons, but there's also some really nice, um, as you'll see, like the lyocells are in it. And there's a lyocell or tensile linen slub in it as well. Um, lots of really nice patterns. There is quite a few linens in it. And then other wee bits like um, wonder tape and fabric markers and things like that. So all the wee things that you would need to get started, but also things that are lovely if you're a wee bit experienced and um, if you're not quite a beginner and you just want a nice easy um, project to work on definitely have a look and you can use the code let's get started 10 um, to get 10% off and I will pop all those details down below in the comments as well. So first up I have is a very basic fabric it is a white um, cotton voile so I got this because it's just perfect for lining dresses and tops and things like that when you don't want to use it's just it's a nice fabric to have next to your skin I think um, and really really handy there's a few things that I have made or that I have cut so I have the um, from my last fabric called the mustard gingham viscose I have cut out the Marcia style um, and Abby Houston grey dress and the top of it is lined so but because the fabric is a gingham I don't want to be putting the line in it with the squares because you would see the squares then underneath it I think and um, so I got this to line it and it'll, it's just going to come in so handy for so many different things so yeah I have two meters of that and it is only I think four pound a meter and then you can get 10% off it too so I think this is the only one I can't see in the section Um. Probably because it's a bigger scale gingham, so maybe not just as easy to pattern match. But I have, do we get half a meter of this? This is actually for my sister. <laughs> she loved my um, Rose Cafe bustier dress that I made in the Sage gingham from the rag shop. Um, put a picture in it was I showed it in my um, July makes video yesterday and again that fabric is still in stock and 10% off in this offer but she really loved it so now she wants a blue top so this is just the yarn get yarn dyed I think third inch um gingham so the every three squares is one inch um, but yeah, I have that in the blue and then I have the miniature pink version I have two meters of this um, and this is in the um, let's get started offer and this is going to be a rose cafe dress or possibly a top and a skirt um, so yeah she just she really loved mine and I was going to get her the green but then she thought no I actually want pink which doesn't surprise me at all Um, anything I make for my sister is usually pink or blue so yeah I got this is a miniature yarn dyed gingham in pink and it's lovely it's just such a nice quality and really really nice for summer so so perfect for beginners if you want to start off making something and um, even great for like wee craft projects and stuff i did a um class in june where we made bunting and we actually i got the all the different colors in this gingham and it was really really lovely so yeah perfect for um we projects for the kids and stuff as well there um we do also have a blog at the moment with um ideas for getting kids started into sewing so it's not just sewing it's other crafty things as well there's loads of information about like ice dyeing and just different things that you can do to keep them entertained i suppose over the summer holidays as well um so yeah the next one i have is so i'd had my eye on the black lyocell twill and then it sold out and then there's a remnant so i picked it up it was 1.4 meters so perfect for me making a pair of trousers and i absolutely love it so this is the lyocell twill it is 15 pound a meter so yeah i think it is 15 pound a meter no, 13 pound meter. So black lyocell twill. I um, think it is the same as the chartreuse lyocell twill that I have. Um, they're both Pigeon Wishes fabric. Um, and it's just stunning. It's just got such a nice drape. Really lovely movement and quite heavy. So perfect for trousers. Um, not too sure what pattern I'm going to make. I have the possibly the Homer Howells 
mod trousers um or i might get the paper theory miller trousers i'm not sure but it's going to be that sort of like elastic waist slim leg trousers anyway and um, just a really really great basic so yes i got this and then my mum has decided she wants to make a few tops so i thought right well i'll get you some fabrics um if you let me know what you want and when i was doing that so i have 1.4 meters here um the fabric had come back in stock so i ended up with another 2.5 meters of it and um, i just absolutely love it it's such a great basic fabric and the problem with a lot of tensiles and lyocells cells is they do crease quite a lot and for the likes of trousers or jackets or jumpsuits it's it's fine but i don't mind too many creases but i know some people do but because this is actually a lyocell blend so there's 20 percent polyester in it and um, but that just means that it's not going to crease as much like i'm really really scrunching that up there and there's hardly any creases showing on it which is just amazing <clears throat> so yeah i got another 2.5 meters of it and probably will make well i had thought i would maybe make a jumpsuit in it but then at the weekend i was starting to plan my autumn winter makes or my autumn makes anyway just to try and get an idea of what sort of fabrics to look out for and i have remembered that i have been wanting to make a black blazer for so long now it's the one color of blazer that i don't actually have i have loads of like checks and colors and stuff but i don't have a black so yeah i thought actually this fabric will be so so perfect for a black blazer and i'm probably going to make the Flare blazer, it seems this one. Oh. Um, this is the yarn dyed linen viscose from the rag shop. Again, this is in the offer, 10% off. Um, but I'll probably do the same one with the same hack with the wet pockets and maybe line it. I'm not too sure because it'll be like a wintry blazer. Um <clears throat> I might draft a line for it, I'll see. But yeah, so I have just over four meters of this fabric now. So I'll definitely be able to get a blazer and trousers. And then I might try and do a wee top, like a shirt, maybe a Gilbert shirt or something, or just maybe a wee boxy top, because then I could still wear the trousers and top as like a full jumpsuit. So that is the plans now. <clears throat> and yeah, really, really, really excited to get started on these. I just think these trousers are gonna be the whole thing. Trousers and blazer and suit is just gonna work so well in my wardrobe. And a black blazer and black trousers are definitely things that I know I'm missing. So yeah, extremely excited about these. Then, oh, we got this fabric in and whenever we got it, or whenever it arrived in, Steph texted me and said that I would love it. And I do. And I, I tried to resist for so long not to buy it. And then I knew it just wasn't going to happen. So this is the Tencel Linen Slub. And it's another Pigeon Wishes fabric. Um, I'll just get the details up here for you. Um, you can see it's called Cappuccino, the colour. Um, other way. It is really, really, really beautiful. It's Sanded Tencel Linen Slub in Cappuccino. So this one is a wee bit pricier. It is, what, £19 a metre? It is 70% tensile and 30% linen and it has a really really beautiful like slubby sort of wave there from the linen and it is oh, it is just so so beautiful you've got the texture of the linen and the the feel and the handle of a tensile and it's just like my two favorite fabrics have come together and made this stunning stunning fabric and yeah it's just it's so beautiful so this will be a pair of swooshy wide leg trousers i think um i think we'll see i just absolutely love it i have two meters of it so it'll either be trousers or probably trousers i think wide leg trousers would just be so nice in it um and yeah just love it absolutely love it i was worried the color might be a wee bit too pale for me but i don't really care because i just think it is beautiful absolutely gorgeous Um, so yeah i got this one and again this is in the offer it would be perfect for a beginner to work with or maybe like an advanced beginner um because it does have quite a nice bit of body it is i don't think we'll have the weight um yeah, it would be lovely as dungarees as well or the home run house in his the wee um, sort of cami dress it would be lovely as that as well so yeah absolutely love this it just it feels 
so nice and that signed. I just love that signed. So yeah, um really really happy with that. So happy I got it. Um and there I know that there it does come in other colours, which we might get in, so I'll probably buy them too. Um so then I also have the blue miniature yarn dyed gingham here as well, same as the other one. Um and yeah, it's really, really nice. It's lovely for working with, as I say, I have made things with this already and it is just beautiful. And then the other one, this is for my mum. It is, this isn't in the Let's Get Started offer, um, but it is stunning. So this is the fluorescent floral cotton jersey. And just look at those colours. They're just, it's beautiful. So it's a really lovely, like, tealy aqua background and then all these big pink and orange and blue flowers and it's just beautiful really really lovely um really nice stretch and recovery um and a nice it has so the um selvage it is dalbeer i'm not too sure who that is but it says a spark of happiness so it is and it is just such a happy happy fabric um so yeah really really love this one um one of my students has actually got this as well and she's making a dress from it and it is looking so beautiful already um so yeah really really like that one <clears throat> so yeah that's all the fabrics that i have bought then next up we have oh very neatly packaged up and um, the bit that of samples that i'm going to be making so first up and if i had have seen this before i placed all these orders i probably would have been buying this one too and um, so this will be a bakerloo blouse and it is called join down in the daisies yeah down in the daisies cotton lawn and it is just oh it's just beautiful it's so so lovely really really nice quality cotton lawn really really soft and um, it's like a quite a muted color palette so perfect for coming into autumn winter now or if you don't like those really bright floral cottons it's a nice alternative because it has these really like a black background with greys and then just a wee bit of peach and i am seeing daisy prints everywhere at the moment so there's that and then there is a wee bit of um the white cotton linen of cotton which is for i think for the frill for the frill around the collar so that's going to be lovely um yeah and a wee bit of so everything i need for it there's elastic there as well and then binding for the neckline which is great um so yeah absolutely love 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 this and i'll double check it could be um 10 percent off too um, yep it is it's in the beginner pick section so you could get 10 percent off that and as well the linen look cotton there um, so yeah i have lots of sewing today and they're all in my size too so that's nice to be able to try them on as i'm going um so then next one this is actually all cut out already for me it is the nearly camden pinafore and it is in the um steel blue try and find a big piece here um jersey i think or not jersey stretch corduroy um so that's it there and i don't think it is so it is yeah the steel blue stretch corduroy and um, it does have a nice amount of stretch there so i'm making the camden pinafore in this um, and it is going to be lined with the blushing berries cotton lawn which is in the offer um, and it is really lovely too those colors are just gorgeous really really nice um they've got like the sort of like a more of a lavender sort of pink and then the warmer pink and all those greens and blacks are they're just absolutely beautiful but yeah i can absolutely picture this corduroy as a pair a really nice pair of like fitted 
wide leg trousers they would be amazing or it's going to be perfect for the camden and um, yeah really really lovely and a really really nice color as well i think that would suit a lot of people so we have that um and you know a pinafore is something that i would never make for myself so i'm quite excited to see how this one will go and then if you see, so that is the camden there it obviously comes in the skirt version as well and it does have really lovely big pockets and um, quite excited about making this i think yeah um and then the last one we have here is and this fabric i am very happy to buy on <laughs> um again so this is going to be the the sienna maker jacket so this is the eight ounce wash denim in dark blue and it is lovely really really nice so in terms of the weight because i know with denim it's so hard like i've tried a couple of different denims now i've tried an eight ounce i've tried 12 ounce and then I've tried lighter as well. I think if maybe there's one in between there, I've tried two. So it's hard to know with, you know, the ounces and stuff, like what weight it's actually going to be. So this is still, it's not a really, really stiff, heavy denim. It has still got that wee bit of movement in it. Now, it's not. It's still quite structured. It's not drapey in any sense, but it is not that real stiff, rigid denim. So if you were wanting to try working with denim to make a jacket or jeans or skirt or something, um, it is a really, really good weight to start with because, sorry, looking out in the garden. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really nice weight to start with because it's not, it's not too heavy. It's not going to um, be too hard to get through your machine or anything like that. Some of the heavy denims, like the 12 ounce denims, it can be difficult, especially when you're trying to top stitch different areas. So yeah, um, really, really nice weight to start off with. And the color is beautiful. It's really nice, classic dark blue denim. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be the Sienna Maker jacket, if you see, so like the crop version. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to making this. So I have the, um, Kylie and the sheen buttons here, the denim jacket buttons um, in pewter. I don't know if I can open this. Yeah, don't know if I can get that open. Um, but it's like a nice dark sort of silvery colour for this. So that is going to be really, really lovely. Um, can't wait to make this too. I can't wait to work with this denim. I can see me getting it myself to make a jacket. Um, the trend patterns puff back jacket i really really like it and i sort of want to try it but without the gathers at the back i would love to try it with the pleats instead um, and i think in this it would be so so nice so yeah um i could see me probably buying this at some point too um and then it comes in a four ounce denim as well the same color and i think it'd be lovely for like a shirt like a bakerloo shirt with the big collar it'd be really nice or just a classic sort of shirt dress or something for coming into autumn winter it would be lovely but yeah i would even say if you were happy to go for like something heavier um like this would be lovely as an ilford or maybe even a shirt dress like the rosa shirt dress by Tilly and the buttons it would be really nice too so yeah really really i'm really can't wait to start working with this and see what it's like and then yeah, um, I think it is going to be lovely. Could convince me to make one then for myself, <laughs> um, which is going to be the problem now with making all these things. So yeah, um, that is everything. Quite a lot of fabrics there. Um, as I say, I didn't buy all of them. Some of them are for the samples for the shop. Um, if you have any questions at all, do either drop me a comment or send us a message over on Instagram or an email. Um, if you have any questions about anything at all, this video is going to go onto YouTube and IGTV, so you'll be able to see it in both places. Um, if you don't follow us already on Instagram, we'd love it if you could go over and give us a wee follow. We are getting so, so close to 10,000 followers and I am just so excited <laughs> to be able to do all the extra things. I feel like it's just one of those really, really big milestones um, for a business to hit. So yeah, I'm very, very excited about that. So if you don't already follow us, please do go over and give us a wee follow. Um, and yeah, that is everything for me today. Um, 
I have already been browsing again and can feel another little <laughs> fabric splurge coming. Um, I think now that I am kind of looking at all my autumn winter plants, there's some really lovely fabrics, really lovely cotton twills um, coming in that will be perfect for it. So yeah, and I'm really excited. I have ideas for coats as well. We have some really lovely bright coatings in at the moment. Um, so if you're looking for a really nice bright statement coat, this winter definitely go and check them out as well so yeah um i hope everyone is keeping well and you're getting plenty of sewing done and i will pop the links for everything that i've talked about down below and yeah i will chat to you all soon bye